Perfect. Oh my freaking... Oh my freaking god. Eat these grenades. What's going on, it's Johnny, and welcome back to episode number 12 of the campaign of Fallout 4. We last left off, we came through this building, and uh, I had to leave right away, because um, I had some shit going on. So, we're back. We're back, baby. Go ahead and loop through here. I, this is definitely not the place we're supposed to be yet, I don't think. But it's been a minute, so I really have no idea. Let's just keep going, looking through stuff. Hello. Handle it, Nick. I got him, don't you worry about it. Nothing there now. Really? What are you guys gonna do? What? You guys got me stirred up over nothing. What? I don't like this. At all. I'm gonna save it, because I don't know what's about to happen. Maybe I shouldn't have saved there. Oof. That might have been a bad save. We can always come back out of it. We can always save it. Let's do another save just in case. Just in case we need to get out of here. This seems like a layer. You just die already. What the? F this is nightmare fuel. Nightmare fuel. Okay. Jesus. Alright. Rice Krispies. Oh, that's right, I added more uh, food in the, in the game. <laughs> uh. Okay. We gotta go up. Shit. 20 freaking rads in there? Alright, let's get a uh, rad X. We don't really have any more, do we? Um... Let's go. Kind of hoping that would do something, but it didn't do a thing. Okay. Try to get rid of some of these rads here. Go up this way. God, how big is this place, man? Okay. What the fuck was that? Did something there. Okay, we got a terminal. Open this door. Perfect. Oh my freaking! Oh my freaking god! Eat these grenades! Oh my god! Okay, we gotta get some way better than that. Holy crap! Okay, that's uh, seventy-seven. I don't have any ammo. I wish we had that one gun. Ooh, we got a fat man. Let's see if, let's see if it'll work. Do a, uh, let's do a quick save. They did a little bit. And then we'll do Institute Rifle. Let these things freaking bang on his head. Okay, we only got hatchlings left. 
Holy crap, dude. Hardened combat sniper rifle, laser rifle. Sturdy combat chest piece. <sighs> Jeez. Okay, can we get out of here? Open these doors. Yo, we could have actually went out of there and got rid of those, some of those rads, but... Shit. Ah. Dude, this is... This entire place is ridiculous. I ain't gonna lie to you, this place is huge. <sighs> Where the frick is this thing at? Like, right here. A little bit more this way. A bit more. A little bit more. Nailed it. Got it. Bottle caps. My God. Why is everything want me dead right now? Everything. I just want to leave. Why are you guys here? Why do you guys have a freaking quet? A quet? A pet? Queen freaking, uh. I can't see this guy. Oh my god, pet queen Myrler. Why, why is that a thing for you? Why do you have that? I hope you were smart. Think you can hide? No. I'm not trying to hide. Jeez. <sighs> Things are just not going the right way for me right now. Okay, yes. we on the we on the come up. We on the come up, baby. How big is this location? Something. Trying to get rid of some of these grenades. Hmm. All right. I missed everything right there. Give up now! I'll make it quick. Well, how am I supposed to get in there? Did all that for 10 millimeter, huh? How am I supposed to get up there? Handle it. How am I supposed to get up there? Oh, right here. Gotta figure it out. I don't want this place to freaking end so I can go back outside and do that one thing. Here we go. Disarm that. I want to activate this. Come on, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Oh. Come on now. Lock tight. Lock tight. Okay, so this is that one side that we did. These bottle cap mine. Mines. Okay, so we could probably leave from there, but I'm not sure. We got a key, so this key open this door over here? What? Absolutely. Hardened sniper rifle. Anything I can lug for you? Absolutely. Hey. Go ahead and trade. <sighs> Hold this. He has so much stuff on him, too. 
Oh my god, we gotta go back to the house, I think. We got so much stuff. Uh. Honestly, that's like, that's pretty much it. You hold my junk, I guess. 25 pounds. We just got rid of right there. Come on. Dude, this place is huge. That work. Nice. Raider minigun plus. Helmeted spike armor. Nothing too crazy that I'd really want, to be honest. Mini nuke. Take the mini nuke that we lost on the queen. Take that. Recoil compensated. Nah. Hey, can I get out of here, please? Like, that's kind of like what I would like to do. If that's okay with you. <sighs> Let's go ahead and get this guy. Go ahead and sleep for an hour. Alright. How do I get out of here? There's a button? Okay, game. You, I was in for freaking 10 minutes trying to figure that out. Yo, get me out of here. I'm so over this place, it's not even funny. How do we even get over here? Alright, guys. We are at the Old North Church. This is where the... Uh, whatever it is. I went ahead and uh, did all the re railroad things. Destroyed so many raiders on the way. I think I gained like a level or so. Let's go ahead and get out of these freaking ghouls. Are you dead? Are you dead? Okay. Even after all these years, still feels sacred. I think this is where we have to go. It's down the basement, and you gotta continue this way. And then. You have to do a. Hold on. I can see at least. You gotta do a code railroad, and then that'll open up the thing, and then you can go in and talk to those people. That's what we're gonna do. <laughs> Boom. Railroad, baby. Go ahead and talk to these guys. Right there. You're just sitting in the dark? That's so weird. To arrange this meeting. But before we go any further, Answer my questions. Who the hell are you? Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and save. Why don't you tell me who you are first? In a world for this little XP boost here. And hunters, we're the Simps' only friends. We're the railroad. So answer my question. I followed the Freedom Trail looking for the railroad. I'm not your enemy. If that's true, you have nothing to fear. Who told you how to contact us?
I just heard a rumor about you guys in Diamond City. I see. I'm Desdemona, and I'm the leader of the railroad. And you are? Deacon, where have you been? You're having a party. What gives with my invitation? I need intel. Who is this? Wow. Newsflash, boss. This guy is kind of a big deal out there. Yeah, I've been pretty busy. You know, you're practically famous. The railroad owes you a crate, hell, a truckload of Nuka-Cola for what you did to Kellogg. He was our public enemy number one. So you're vouching for him? Yes, trust me. He's someone we want on our side. That changes things. So, stranger, why did you want to meet with us anyway? Um... My son, Sean, was kidnapped. I'm looking for help to find him. Someone stole your boy? That's terrible. Do you know who did it? For your sake, I hope the Institute isn't involved. Kellogg kidnapped him. Well, you got your revenge. But that doesn't bring your son back. I'll have Deacon look into this. If anyone can find a lead on your boy, he can. If we're going to be dealing with you, I need to make sure we're on the same page. You know what a synth is, right? Of course. Yeah, I know all about them. Good. The Institute treats synths as property, as tools. Hmm. Go on. So we seek to free the synths from their bondage. Give them a chance at a real life. I have a question. The only question that matters. Would you risk your life for your fellow man? Even if that man is a synth? Could you elaborate? Answer with your gut on this. Your heart. If you had to put yourself in danger to save a synth, would you do it? Once, I pledged my life to protect my countrymen. I don't see this as any different. Well said. We'll do what we can to look into your missing boy. What the Institute has done to your family and others is what drives us. Normally, you're exactly the type of person we try and recruit. But right now, we don't have the time to train up a new agent. There are, however, other valuable ways you can contribute. And in turn, we can help you. See Deacon for details. You're free to go. Okay. Hey there. Hope you didn't mind the reception. When you tango with the Institute, you gotta be careful when someone new gets on the dance floor. Your leader was just being cautious. Yeah, we know we're all on the same team. Exactly. Kind of killed our chance at a friendly first impression, though. But it's all good now. I vouched for you. Nobody got shot. Still, I would consider it a close personal favor if you didn't sell us out to the Institute. Thanks. We'll see if we can tell, tell us anything about him. Under why he vouched for me. So tell me. Why did you vouch for me? In our little outfit, it's my job to know things. And with everything you've done, it's clear you're capable. A dangerous enemy. And I'm betting a valuable ally. But why the trust? You can't be taking it all on faith. I've heard a lot of things about you. Button loaded again. I don't know if we can trust you, but I hope we can. We just survived a hell of a crisis, so we may just be a teeny weeny bit desperate for new members. If everything was sunshine and bottle caps, we'd probably play a longer getting to know you game, but we don't have that luxury. Hmm. Can he tell us more is the question. Really? Is that all? Well, you just don't get Let's go. Up. All right. I have a short list of people I think would be a good fit for our family. You piqued my interest, so Maybe I asked around, did my homework. If you hadn't found us, there's a chance I would have found you instead. Thanks for saving me the trip. So Des wants me to make you a tourist. That's what we call someone who helps out with the odd job here and there. What a waste. I'm just gonna come out and say this. The railroad needs you. You got my attention. I got a job, too big for me, just perfect for the two of us. You help me out, we turn a few heads, and then Des invites you into the fold. Then, if you get into a bind and need some help, your buddies in the railroad got your back. 
Sign me up then. Perfecto. Let's meet up at the old freeway outside of Lexington. I'll fill you in once you get there. Hey. Let's go. Let me ask you something. Sure. Ask away. It's just, uh, with everything that's happened with you and your, your family, it's a whole hell of a lot to process. I wanted to make sure you're holding up all right. Uh... Yeah, mm. I'm all right. Huh. You're a tougher nut than I thought. Tougher than I was. Took me a long damn time to get a feel for this place. Thank goodness I found Diamond City. It's got its flaws, sure, but it beats the hell out of anywhere else in the Commonwealth. Of course, when I took up there back when, people were just as scared of the Institute as they are now. Maybe more. The massacre of the CPG was still pretty fresh in people's minds at that point. Folks were still losing sleep over the broken mask. Plenty of people assumed I was just a saboteur, moving in to melt down the reactor or poison the drinking water. But at the time, they couldn't exactly turn me away. Why'd they let you in? Because I'd rescued the mayor's daughter. Gal of about 15. Pride and joy of the mayor back then. A man by the name of Henry Roberts. The young Miss Roberts decided she'd run off with some caravan hand she'd, uh, <clears throat> known for an evening. Turns out the guy was part of a gang of kidnappers. I didn't even know who I was rescuing, just stumbled on a crying girl and four toughs. I took her home and the mayor dubbed me a hero, offered me a place in town. Lots of folks protested, said I was a spy, but he wouldn't have it. Taking up in the city was tricky at first, but I never tried to hide what I was, and people seemed to warm to that. Was it hard settling in? Well, they sure didn't make it easy. I started off doing the jobs no one else wanted. I got more banged up being Diamond City's handyman than I ever did living out in the ruins. But I guess folks never forgot I rescued the mayor's daughter, so they started coming to me when people went missing. Wife runs off with a new paramour and takes the rent money with her? Talk to the synth. An upset father decides moving him and the kids to good neighbor in the dead of night's not the worst damn idea since the bomb? Go get Nick. After a while, the jobs got so backed up, they didn't even ask me to do the handyman stuff anymore. Hell, I was so happy to do it, it was months before I started charging anyone. I never <laughs> stopped being Nick the Synth, but it was Nick the Detective folks came to see. It was about then that things, uh, well, things finally started feeling normal. It took me a long time to realize that home is where you make it. And with some time and effort, this place can be home for you, too. That's a long story, but I hope it helps. Want to get moving? Absolutely. All right. Hey. Okay. Um. Look at our data here. Meet Deacon at the old high. We have so many quests, dude. Look at this. Plus freaking um miscellaneous quests. Mmm. Find the golden glove. Put some bling in your punch. Search the okay. Uh, there's so much stuff here, dude. All right. We'll file out separately after you leave. Best not to attract attention here. I wonder if there's any more missions you can give us. Come here again if you need to meet us. We'll know you're coming. Hey. Hey. Got a few things to take care of. I'll see you at Lexington. Death says we stay here until you leave. No pressure. No pressure. You got it. Okay. I think you can leave here now. We also got some levels we can put in real quick too, so why not? Or perk we can grab. Let's do... Let's do Medic, so our freaking stuff's a little bit better. I really like... Having no companions, we might do this because I, I just it's a little bit easier. And we can also carry more. Uh, let's go to strength. 
Blacksmith, heavy gunner. Let's put another one in here. And then we can do this one, strong back. And then we can grab some more stuff as well. Perfect. Now we can be able to at least hold 310. That's going to help us with junk and stuff too, so... Okay. Perfect. Okay. I didn't do shit, I guess, huh? Get up out of here. Oh man, I'm freaking tired. Oh man, man, man. I'm a little bit sleepy. I'm on the sleepy side. The day has definitely been one of those days. Let me say something. Let me go ahead and tell you about it. Actually, I don't want to tell you about it. I'm just tired. A little bit tired. Level 19, almost 20. <clears throat> well, I say we'll probably be close to like level 40 or 50 by the time we get done with this entire game. We're not gonna do 100% playthrough, I don't think. I, can't, I know I think I said it before, but I, just, I wanna beat the campaign, the main, the main quests. And then I also wanna do, maybe like build a cool house and do some like side quests. And I'm pretty much done. Um, like I said before, we're just really just trying to put ourselves up towards cyberpunk so we'll play this until literally the day of and I'll just keep banging on episodes until that happens so whatever we do in that time cool if we need to come back toward or to it later on um then we, then we can do that as well but if I could get it done then hell yeah you know Nick what are you doing in the water bro you're not gonna like short circuit yourself, are you? Okay, so that's the airport. That's where the Brotherhood is. I'm not. I really don't think we're gonna do Brotherhood. There's a lot of quests we could do in this game, like lots. Um, but honestly, the railroad is kind of my attention because I haven't really did anything with the railroad. I got the achievements and stuff for the railroad, but I never really paid attention. I just kind of went through it just to get the achievements. But I think our main quest is going to be railroad and what they do. So. Yeah, that's kind of where we are with that. Just kind of looking around here. There's still so many locations on the map you still have to, uh, have to explore yet. I love how this is uh, giving us 80% now on those. Go. Oh, stop it, please. Where are you at? Lights out for you. Okay. Another dude over here somewhere. Where are you? There you are. Oh, it's just one of those things. Was that rad stag? Yeah. Go over here and loot this dude. Freaking body parts everywhere. Crazy. Cool. See, the thing about this game, you could literally make this 400 parts easy. Just because there's just so much. You could literally do 30 hours of just base building if you wanted to. Like, you go to this place, make a base, go over here, make a base, like craziness man it really is crazy how much shit there is in this game to do cottage look it's just random little little area that's so dense within like the main this main little area right here it's just extremely dense it's crazy to me think you can hide yes we're not alive. what there's a cat in here raider Okay, sure. Why is there a random dude? Why, why are you living with a freaking skeleton? Did you just move in? Like, take the skeletons out of your house if you're gonna live. Make yourself a home, Nick. Just make yourself a home. We just killed somebody. He's in the corner, and then you're gonna come over here and make yourself a home. You want a freaking drink? We gonna make you a drink? What kind of drink you want? What kind, what kind of drink you want? Huh? Sorry. 
ridiculous. That's what I'm trying to say. North end. Is this really it? <laughs> There's nothing else in here? There's like no bedroom or anything? I guess this would be the bedroom, but... You can't even freaking go in it. Weird little area. That's for sure. What are we at, uh, on time? Like 20 more minutes or so. Alright, let's go ahead and see what kind of... ...missions we have for our mods. Okay, send any to timeout. I think these are all... Look at that one. I think these are all... Yeah, okay, so I think these are all, like, missions for our mods. We have one, like, right over here, it looks like. 23 meters. Interesting. Boxing gym. What are you gonna give me here? Is it gonna be like a... I think there was a boxing glove in Fallout New Vegas, if I can, be, if I can remember right, so... I'm assuming that's what we're about to get. Run in here somewhere? Got it. That's it. Golden glove, yeah. Chance to stagger on hit increased damage after each consecutive hit on the same target. Advanced. Okay. That was a lot easier than the other one. Auto caps. Alright. Auto caps. Look around here, make sure you can't grab anything of use. That 80 pounds of barbells. <laughs> the bad thing is you could put it in your pocket. Airbrush. Alright, I don't think there's anything else in here. I think we're good here. Alright. Get out of here. Hey, okay. Where is the closest one from here? Let me go down. See, they're all in this general vicinity. So I think when we start going towards uh, the glowing sea, we'll start here, run over here, grab this, then this, then this. And then we'll just hit all these all the way through. There's a couple of them up here. Meet Deacon at the old highway. That's a mission. Find Pacencia. Museum of Witchcraft. Okay, so... I think what we'll do is we'll go... I don't want to meet Deacon just quite yet. I'm not sure what I want to do yet. Let's go explore a couple more places. Why not? I haven't really done much exploring. Actually, what we need to do is actually go back to our house. Red Rocket is what we're going to be calling our house for now, so... Let's go back here. Let's offload some stuff. We might go ahead and throw a chest down. Get rid of uh, Nick's inventory. Put it in a chest. Uh, oh. Go from there. Uh. <sighs> I hate this freaking. I hate this dust storm, man. It's horrible. Like, literally, it is just not a good time. Can we close this door? Is that gonna help us with the dust? No. It doesn't do a thing. Actually, no. No, it doesn't. Okay. That sucks. Alright, let's throw all my junk. Cool. Let's look at our carton of cigarettes. Let's take all of these. And we have a pack of cigarettes. I guess that'd be in the peas, right? Yeah, so we have 14 of these. We have almost... So we have 6,500. Where's Nick at? Nick, come here. Hey. 
trade. Let's take all. Yes. We'll come back in here, transfer all of this junk. And I guess you probably have more cigarettes, don't you? Yes. Take that. Let's go to the, let's go to the peas. Just in case he's got some more. Pack of cigarettes. 16. Oh, wait. It put more. It put the same shit in. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was thinking he put more in it, but he also put what we just got back in. Which is fun. Whatever. Okay, let's go ahead and make a... Furniture. Oh, I guess I could show you what I'm going to do. So I got this thing called Curo Tab. And it makes it kind of glitchy. It kind of sucks. But it adds so much. You can go to structure. We got wood. We got metals. Everything. You name it. Kind of makes it pause for a sec, but that's okay. See, so it kind of like freezes a little bit. But it's just, there's little. It adds so much. Literally, just so much stuff. I mean, just look at this. This is just one section. I'm not even close to being done. Look at that. All of this. I got canopies. You name it. So we can really make this just insane. Um, so I think we'll do this one episode. And, uh, go from there. Look at this. A starter structure. Describe your, like, tent structure. So that's pretty cool. I'm not really sure what I want to do with it quite yet, but we'll definitely look at this at a later time. That's for sure. Okay, let's get up out of here. Let's go ahead and go towards furniture. I need containers. We had another one of these earlier, but it went away. That's the reason I'm not using Sim Settlements here, because I just don't feel like putting stuff down and then them taking it out. So let's just go ahead and throw... We'll just throw it in here. Actually, hold on. Can we scrap some of this stuff? Just scrap a bunch of this nonsense. Stuff that shouldn't be here in the first place, like that. This, this. I don't want to take the floor out, so be very, very careful here. I'm gonna take some of this nonsense that doesn't really mean anything. That, that. 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 Okay. Go ahead and move this over. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. We'll get some of the size out of here too. We also have a mod that takes away the size of our settlement. Um. And does it, we have like no limits. We can pretty much build as long as we want, but we also got to be mindful of uh, lagginess. So be very, very careful here. Let's go ahead and put this down. Put uh, let's put a trunk. We'll put it, we'll put it in this corner. If I can get it there. Can we put it on top? I thought we could stack stuff. Can we not stack anything? Oh, I could put this on top. Cool. Okay. That'll work. Did like the rain. Go ahead and transfer. So we'll, so we'll throw some of this, these guns in here that we're not using. Like this 556 five, stuff is really what's messing with this. We have so many cool guns, but they all take 556. Five, I wonder if we can take it and, and transfer it to like three, like a 338 or something like that. So actually, let's take this back. We'll throw like a bunch of these big stuff, like a Fat Man's. All of that. Uh, compensated, tell him in, okay, see like we, we can just get rid of a bunch of this stuff. Power Fist, we're not going to use. Institute Rifles, not probably not bad. But we're not going to use any of this extra stuff. Catalog pistol, use a 44. Sniper rifle. Pulse grenades. Shock baton, we're not going to use. We'll keep, we'll, we'll keep that, because we have so much ammo for it. Okay, I don't think we're going to use... This is like 5.56 as well. So we have so many guns that take 5.56. 
And really so that's three, four. Um five. Five for sure guns that use five five six, so we could probably get rid of some of these. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. We'll get rid of these two in the thing. We'll put that in there. We'll put that in there. We'll keep one, just so we have it, but I don't think we're gonna do a majority of it. Try not to um, anything you might miss. Let's go to the thing we have two. Let's go ahead and scrap this. Like that. We do anything to our guns. This is a Kellogg pistol. Let's do... 33... Harden Sniper does 308. This also does 308, so we can get rid of this. Hmm. Okay. I can't even use it. Okay. I could use I'm just saying that I don't want to at the moment. Let's, um, go back into the weapons. And the one that is smaller, where did I go? This one? I don't know. I want to store that. I'm just trying to, like, minimize the amount of just stupid stuff we have in our stuff here. Okay, I think we're good. Perfect. Craft it. Let's go down to this. I don't even need screws yet, don't we? It's like our big thing right now, screws. I might actually just go ahead and put in a bunch of, uh, not put in, but go and just like get a bunch of junk and then come back and then that will be have an extra, we have extra stuff so we can actually start doing our house. Just so we have the, you know, the, the junk. That way it's not like a one episode where I'm just like looting a bunch of shit for junk. It's kind of like a waste of time. Trying to make these episodes not necessarily like will we take away the majority of the things that we that need to be seen, but more of a we're we're aware of that it doesn't need to be seen. Does that make sense? Okay. I think we're good here. I think we're gonna call this episode right here. I think next episode we'll do a bunch of missions, and then we're also um, I think next episode we might go ahead and start uh. Figuring out what we're gonna do for this house. I'm thinking about doing like a like getting rid of all this extra shit outside, all the stuff inside. I think I might. I'm not sure. Do I want to put a? Do I want to put like a like a? I'm trying to like put this into words here because I'm not sure what I want to do yet. I think I want to do like a fence that goes all the way around it, but not necessarily like a fence, but like train carts type thing, where it goes all the way around it. I'm not sure. We'll figure it out. Alright guys, this is gonna be episode number 12 of the Fallout 4 campaign. I know things are kinda of a little bit wonky right now with, uh, this episode. This was, like, kind of everywhere, but... I don't know. If you guys, are, if you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys do the YouTube thing, like, comment, subscribe, and share your friends. Always guys, I'm Mr. Johnny. We'll be seeing you guys in the next episode of Fallout 4 campaign, and, uh, anything else we can get our hands on. We're gonna be playing... Uh, something in October at some point that's gonna be horror because we are in October so look out for that I'm not sure what we're gonna do yet we're probably gonna bring back uh, three random horror games things like that because there's a bunch of random horror games that just went out on uh, itch.io so we could probably take a look at those I'm just really trying to get ahead on fallout so yeah you guys enjoyed it you guys stuff yada 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 words words bye <laughs>